Hi everyone, I'm Patrick from Assembly AI, and in today's tutorial I show you how to load audio data into Llama Index and then combine it with a vector store index and a large language model so we can ask questions about our data. So this will be the final script that we are going to build and here we load an mp3 file about sports injuries and then in the end for example we can ask what is a runner's knee and then here you can see the answer. So let's code this together step by step. First of all, what is Llama Index? So Llama Index is a data framework for connecting custom data sources to large language models. So here you can see, for example, you can load Slack data or PDFs or YouTube data or any other data source and then easily combine it with a LLM of your choice. So for example, you can select OpenAI or Cohere or Anthropic or Hugging Face, even local LLMs. And it makes it extremely easy to combine this and also to structure your data and to store your data. So for this, we're going to install the Llama Index Python package. And next to it, there's also the Llama Hub, which is a library of data loaders for LLMs made by the community. And there you find the official Assembly AI data loader. So it's the Assembly AI audio transcript loader. And this allows to load audio data and then transcribe it and store it in Llama index documents. So for this, we are also going to install the Llama Hub Python package. So let's jump to the code and do this together step by step. So let's install all the required packages. Here I'm already in a new virtual environment and now we can say pip install Llama index Llama Hub and assembly AI. So this is the assembly AI Python SDK. So let's hit enter and now this is installed. Next, let's set up our data reader. So for this, we say from llamahub.assemblyai.base, we want to import the assembly AI audio transcript reader. Then we need an audio file, and this can either be a URL that points to a file, or it can also be the path to a local file. So here I use the local file that I prepared and it's called sportsinjuries.mp3. And then we can create our reader. So the reader equals the assembly AI audio transcript reader and it needs the file path as an argument and this is our audio file. And then we can simply say docs equals reader dot load data and now this will block until the transcription is finished and it uses the assembly AI API to transcribe the file and then stores it in a llama index document. So now for example we can print the transcribed text and we can access this by saying docs zero so the first document in this list and then by using the dot text attribute. So this is the full code we need to load audio data into Llama Index. And before we can run this, we also need to set a API key. And you can either do this here by saying API key equals and specify it here as an argument, or you can also set this as an environment variable that needs to be called assembly AI underscore API underscore key. So here I do this and all in caps, export assembly AI API key and then my key that you find in your dashboard and you can get one for free by signing up using the link in the description. So let's set the API key and then save the file and now let's run our main.py file and see if this works. And it worked. So here you can see the full transcript inside the documents. And by the way, this is a list of documents, but in this case, it only contains one document with the whole text. So now we want to combine this with a vector store index and a query engine to ask questions about the content. So for this, we say from llama index, we want to import the vector store index. And then let's comment out the print statement and set up our index by saying this is a vector store index dot from documents and then put in the docs that we just loaded. Then we set up a query engine by saying the query engine equals index as query engine. And then we can ask questions by saying response equals query engine dot query and here you can type your question. So I, for example, want to ask what is a 
runners knee and then let's simply print the response. So by default, the query engine uses the uh, open AI model or one model from their API. So for this, you also need to set a open AI API key. So you also have to export this as a global environment variable. And in this case, we also need to have a small change so we need to reset the metadata to an empty dictionary because it needs to be smaller than the chunk size so the metadata contains the full json response from our api with extra information like the language or maybe other ai models that you use like speaker detection or auto chapters so for simplicity we get rid of everything here and now this is the full code so let's save this again and run our or main.py file. And it worked. So here you see the response with information about a runner's knee. And this is the whole code that you need to build to load audio data into Llama Index with the Assembly AI Audio Transcript Reader. And then you can see you can easily combine this with language models. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and then I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.